Gemini. Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading for the 12th to the 18th of December. I'm going to pull you four rows, past, present, future, outcome, and let's see what's coming up for you. Knight of Swords first. Okay. The Emperor Leadership. So I'm already getting a message of don't be craving to be at the finish line when it's the journey and the experience which is what to be, is there to be enjoyed. Not always enjoyed because it's not going to always going to be enjoyable but don't crave to be at the end because you will miss out on a lot. And the universe won't allow it and it will just create more suffering or just suffering where there hasn't been any. Ace of Swords. So I do think in the past here, there was some mini battle one, maybe a battle with yourself, um, but just an achievement of some kind. Ten of Cups at the beginning of your current energy row. Brilliant. You're about the third sign to have uh, the Ten of Cups this week in that kind of area, not in that exact place. I think you're the second sign to have it in that exact place. I can't remember. I mean, I've done them. <laughs> I fitted them in where I can. The reading's over a few days, so... I can't remember, I started doing this week's readings maybe two, three days ago. But the reason I say that is because I do think that there is an element of happiness showing up in the readings for a collective energy for most people. Okay. Now, this is the card that a few weeks ago was showing up all the time, the Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. So the reason for that, I'm going to say there might be something from the past which is still clinging on. This is in the centre of the road that is your current energy. Very interestingly, see, I was, I'm seeing this past line, even though it is in the past, you have to read intuitively with these things. I'm getting that as a future energy, like that is where you want to get to. You want to get to that uh, leadership, bold, being a boss, being a CEO of some kind of company or whatever resonates with you. You want to get there as quickly as possible. But you feel like there's something holding you back. It could be other people. Okay, what was that one? King of Pentacles? So it's not what the King of Pentacles means, but I think that taking your time about things is, is okay. And be bold and be courageous when it comes to where you are investing your time, your money, your resources. So the future row is started off by the Five of Wands, which is the adventure. It, it, it represents training. These people are training with wands. 
They're not trying to kill each other with swords. Ones originally representing the farmers, swords originally representing the army. Cups, priesthood, pentacles, the bankers. Hmm, the Ace of Wands. So the beginning of something inspiring. Possibly something that you've always wanted to do. Com coming from a training aspect. Or that is like literally go on the adventure. Go on the adventure and, and stop waiting for it to come to you. Three of Wands. Okay, what's that one? Okay. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune always turns. So if you've been having bad luck, it's turning in, in the way of good luck. Just an element of caution. If you've been having nothing but good luck, it might mean that it's turning the other way. That is the Wheel of Karma in the middle of the card. So karma, as in destiny, or karma as in getting what you deserve. Both meanings of karma. The word karma is a fa fascinating word. It does mean a few things. The chariot. Right in the middle of your outcome row. Well, I like the chariot. I like it for success. I like it for showing that willpower has got you to where you want to be. Also, it's like movement forward and travel. The three of Wands can be travel. And what I really like about this reading is right in that middle row, on the furthest point over here, my west, to my west, your east, is the, um, the Emperor card. And the furthest point to my east, your west, is the chariot card. In the north we have the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, in the south we have the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Just so those points of the compass don't feel like they have been left out. Final card, without even looking at it. It's the king. Oh, no, it's not in reverse. That's just me being silly. D trying to flick it in my hand like that. <laughs> the king of swords. Someone who is a leader intentionally, considering you already have the emperor in the reading, this is to do with want wanting to be a boss. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're good at it. Okay, let's go with the clarification cards. Wow, the last, I think, uh, the last reading I just did, Libra, had the two of ones clarifying their very first card. So that's interesting. That's interesting. I think you were definitely being asked to go on an adventure with this five of wands to the ace of wands to the three of wands and with this two of wands on that knight of swords the fastest moving knight in the deck want, wanting wanting to get there on the emperor you have the five of cups so maybe there would have been disappointments maybe maybe you were being interviewed or auditioning for a, uh, a a managerial position in a job and it didn't work out but it's given you the opportunity to think about things and take some time and gather yourself that's the king of swords twice now the king of swords he is a thinker he is a sword card which is air which is mind 
It's on the Ace of Swords. <laughs> so very, very mental energy going on there. On the Ten of Cups. What have we got? We've got the Queen of Wands. Inspirational energy. The Queen of Wands is a seducer. Not necessarily in a negative way. Just because she's so attractive and charismatic. It is on the Ten of Cups. Which is a kind of love. Big time love. Maybe marriage energy. Also doing things the way that you want them to be done. Okay. Okay, on the, yeah, okay, on this Eight of Swords, we have this uh, Death card. So there is a huge transformation going on here. So you, you feel like you're being restricted, but I think you're just going through a transformation and you need to take time. You need to give it time. Six of Wands on the King of Pentacles. So I think there's success when it comes to financial investments. Or just resources and money in general. It's not a big time glow up money reading. No, 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 it's not. But just a small win there. Okay, the chariot again on the five of wands. Go on the adventure. <laughs> that couldn't be saying that more loudly. With the Ace of Wands, we have the Page of Cups. So, an element of love coming in there, if you go on this adventure, I think. I love that flying pig in the top corner there. Miracles can happen, and pigs might fly. Well, there's a flying pig right there. You have the Emperor, again, in this reading. It's on the Three of Wands. So I don't think you should be worried about having to be patient for an outcome. Especially when it comes to success. Ace of Pentacles on the Wheel of Fortune, so that's definitely good for growth in money. The Ace of Pentacles doesn't mean that you're going to win the lottery tomorrow. It's, it's actually the beginning. It's one seed. And the reason I really like this card from this deck, the lights here is tarot. It's because the seed element is very clearly depicted here. Like if you if you place that seed in rocky ground with no soil, it's not going to grow. And this is what tarot is for. So you can know not to do that. The Queen of Cups on the chariot. So I do think that love is. Overseas are the words that are coming into my head. <laughs> Love is overseas. And the Ace of Cups on the King of Swords. Well, that's, that's telling me yes to what I just said. Maybe it's someone who has a leadership position that you might be falling in love with. Maybe. That Ace of Cups there was your final card. So it's great, great, great way to end. Also nice to do a reading that hasn't got any, like we've had a few this week that have been, um, there's been a bit of suffering, loss and upset in, but you know, there are no good and bad readings and they're, they're all good. And they're all good and they're all bad. <laughs> no, they're, 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 it's just guidance. There's a neutrality to the whole thing. Um, don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. And thanks for being here. And until next time, take care. Bye.